This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Soul Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Stan by Eminem, okay? Very awesome tune, goes like this, give you a preview before we start learning it, okay? It's very nice. Repeat it, okay? Exactly. But anyways, so let's learn the melody and block chords because that's the foundation of a song. From there, you can add your own improvisations and decoration patterns afterwards. All right. So we'll break this lesson up to four parts. It's easy to learn. So the first part, right hand starts on the G sharp here. So middle C, go up to the G sharp. Goes G sharp up to D sharp, D sharp, D sharp, E, C sharp, B, D sharp, B, C sharp. Down to A sharp, B, up to D sharp, A sharp, D sharp, down to G sharp. Okay, and that's it for the first part, all right? Let's learn it again. So it goes G sharp, D sharp, D sharp, D sharp, E, C sharp, B, D sharp, B, C sharp, down to A sharp, B, D sharp, A sharp, D sharp, G sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, five chords here. The five chords are G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, D sharp. Second chord is E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Third chord is F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Fourth chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. And fifth chord is first inversion of F sharp major, which is A sharp, C sharp, F sharp. So with those five chords in mind, so G sharp minor, E major, F sharp major, B major, and first inversion F sharp major. So it together goes like this. So remember to remember these five chords um, in this first part, because the second part and the third part are the same five chords in this particular order as well. So remember Spend some time practicing, okay? Here we go. Let's uh, put the two hands together for this first part. So left hand starts, right hand continues. Next D sharp and E major to get up. Up the D sharp, F sharp major by itself. B and B major to get up. A sharp and chord to get up. And that's it for the first part. Let's learn it again. It goes here. To get up. Here. To get up. To get up. All right, now moving on to the second part. Right hand continues, goes G sharp up to two D sharps. Another D sharp, E, C sharp, B, D sharp, C sharp, up to F sharp, G sharp, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp. That's it for the right hand for the second part. Learn it again. It goes G sharp up to D sharp, D sharp, D sharp, E, C sharp, B, D sharp, C sharp, up to F sharp, G sharp, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have the same five chords as the first part. That's why I said it's so important to remember those five chords. We're the same. So G sharp minor, E major, F sharp major, B major, and first inversion, F sharp major. So with those five chords in mind, turn together goes like this, okay? Left hand starts, right hand continues, up to the D sharp, E major by itself, up D sharp, F sharp major by itself, F sharp and B major together, D sharp and chord together. That's it for the second part. Let's learn it again. So it goes here, here, here. And that's it for the second part. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. Moving on to the third part, right hand continues, goes up to the F sharp twice, another F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, B, D sharp, B, C sharp. B, C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp. That's it for the third part for the right hand. One more time, it goes F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, B, D sharp, B, C sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp. That's it for the right hand. Once you get the right hand there, left hand, we have the same five chords as what we just learned. So G sharp minor, E major, F sharp major, B major, and the first version A sharp, uh, the uh, F sharp major. So you know that already. Two hands together goes like this. So here, up the F sharp, E major by itself. Up the D sharp, F sharp major by itself. 
D sharp and B major together. After D sharp chord by itself. After that. Okay. Yeah, let's learn it again. Let's go here. 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 Together. Here. Yeah, so that's the third part. Now, moving on to the fourth and last part of this lesson. Right hand continues. Goes down to G sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, B, D sharp, B, C sharp, G sharp, B, D sharp, B, C sharp, B. That's it for the right hand. All right, let's learn it again. This goes G sharp up to D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, B, D sharp, B, C sharp, G sharp, B, D sharp, B, C sharp, B. That's it for the right hand. Left hand this time, the four chords here is different. Okay, first of all, we have G sharp minor, which you know, G sharp, B, D sharp. Second chord, you also know, E major, E, G sharp, B. However, the third chord this time is F sharp, oh, no, sorry, F half diminished, which is F, G sharp, B, D sharp. Alright, so remember that, there's a 4 note chord, and then the 4th chord back to E major. Alright, so with those 4 chords in mind, so G sharp minor, E major, F half diminished, and E major, two hands together goes like this, G sharp minor, and chord together, so here, and right hand continues, after C sharp, E major by itself, right hand continues, D sharp and chord together, D sharp and E major together, that's it. Let's learn it again, so it goes here, here. Together. Together. And there you go. That's it for the four parts of back to back. All four parts of this lesson will be played like this. Check it out. And there you go, awesome stuff. So once you get the melody and block chords all good, you can start to add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own personal version, personal flair, anything else like that, okay? So left hand, you can do like octave bass uh, notes, and then like you do arpeggios, you can be like, you can do rhythmic patterns. That kind of thing, all right? So on the right hand, you can harmonize the bass on the chords to make a thicken texture. So you can do something like this, you can be like, play around with a pretty awesome tune okay so i hope you enjoyed this lesson by the way if you want to learn many other eminem songs i've done many piano tutorials on eminem songs a lot of great catchy tunes a lot of great catchy instrumentals as well so learn it from my channel just search eminem amos doll in the youtube search to find all those other lessons to learn but as for now that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.